Hello and welcome to day four of our ASU Playmakers Camp. Our goal today is going to be to use our Lego kits to make a board game. Um, there's a variety of examples here and throughout this lesson to get your creative juices going. And we can think about several different types of games. You can think about a classic game like chess or tic-tac-toe or checkers. It could be a physical game like a ring toss or maybe another carnival type game. Um, or it could even sort of be a more elaborate board game. Uh, Lego has an entire series of board games and this is one um, that's the labyrinth. It's called the Lego Minotaur game. So, uh, what you could do is, if you want to brainstorm or just think in your head, what kinds of board games do you like to play? And thinking about how we can make those out of Lego. Think about the Lego that you have available to you and the different parts of a board game that you might need to construct out of Lego. Uh, the other thing you could do, besides just thinking of a game that you like to play and trying to recreate it with LEGO, is coming up with your own board game with your own rules. That can be really fun, too, and super creative. So th be thinking about the types of board games that you like, and the first step that you're going to want to do is, you know, design your game. Think about... Uh, what it's going to look like, what kind of rules is it going to have, what's the basic outline, and I have some examples for you and then a couple more questions that I want you to think about while you're doing this activity. So the first example, and both of these examples are made using the Playmakers kit, so you can definitely recreate these, would just be tic-tac-toe. This is a fun game, easy to make with Lego, and you could design it a million different ways using our Playmakers kit. This is just one example of how you could make a tic-tac-toe board. Another um, style of game that you can make is kind of like Candyland or the Game of Life, sorry, uh, one of the racing games where you're moving, um, you know, different squares or step-by-steps, or in this case, we're moving different colored blocks around, um, around the board. So a racing board game, you know, you use dice or a spinner or some method for determining how far um, the player can advance forward in their turn. And then you could have things like if you land on a square that somebody else is on, they go back to the start. And I made a little spinner right here um, to determine what color block you would advance to next. So you could try, you could start with something like this if this is a, a fun looking game for you to try. Maybe you could use this for inspiration. And I'm sure that you could come up with better rules or improvements to this game. Uh, to make the spinner, you use that white antenna. That's just kind of the, um, the white bar that sticks up. And then you wanna put something in it that's flat on the top. So you don't want to put one of the cylinders with the studs, but you've got this kind of green hollow piece that you could put, and then you put the blue piece on top of it. Or there's this um, tan gear, and if you put it upside down, it's kind of flat, and it allows this to spin, and then you could put whatever you want. I have this little white slope piece so that when it finishes spinning, it points to the color, and then that's the next square that the person advances to. So when you're building your game, you want to be thinking about what's your game about, how do you win, how do you move, is it just luck or is there any kind of strategy involved, you know, are you going to make um, some chance cards like in Monopoly, um, you know, are there going to be rules like lose a turn or, or get an extra turn, um, and then just kind of thinking about what kind of game it's going to be. Once you're done building your game, you definitely want to test it out. So ask a friend, ask a family member to play with you, and remember to listen to their advice and questions. So listen to what they say about your game. You know, um, do they like parts of it? Do they think that there's parts that need to be improved? 
Are there changes that need to be made? So as you're testing it, you know, ask your whoever's playing with you uh, for a little bit of feedback. And then make sure that you write down your rules so that others can learn to play your game. All right, if you need any inspiration today, there are uh, several different YouTube links that I've left you, um, both in board games and in some other like carnival style games too. So um, just kind of going through these, Brick Motions Chaosville is like a modular building game. This is pretty complex and you would definitely need more Lego than you have in the Playmakers kit, but it's a great um, challenge to kind of recreate a game with this kind of complexity. Like I said earlier, Lego has made a variety of um, board games that are made from the Lego company. And so you could check out kind of these how to play videos on them. You've got Ramsey's Pyramid and Minotaurs and City Alarm. And maybe those would give you some ideas for a board game. And then non-board game ideas. So uh, this is a fun YouTube video. The guy just makes stop motion versions of old arcade games. Um, there's a Lego maze or labyrinth. So several different words, but it's basically um, you make a maze and you try to send a marble from one end to the other. And so there's a couple of varieties. And then Lego Friends has a ring toss. So you could build a ring toss like this one, and I think they just use hair ties or something to toss. Or um, if you come up here, and I think they're using pipe cleaners, or maybe you have some rubber bands. Now this is Duplo here, but you could recreate something similar using Lego, and maybe the different colors represent different points. So a lot of ideas today, a lot of different things that you can do. Please make sure that you're taking pictures or videos and uploading those here on Canvas or sharing those with Miss Laura or I. All right, everyone, I hope you have a great time today.